Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Wednesday, everybody, on this beautiful August 22nd. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Edward, good to see you. Ken, Grant, good to see you. Mike, Tim. Well, the greatest song ever. I got, Sorry we started a little late, but I saw some of you guys are fans of that great song that we just played uh, before uh, we got started. So, uh Kind of let that play through, but hopefully everyone had a great morning and uh, got. I see. Listen, I see a lot of you guys logging a lot earlier. Uh, it's good to know early bird gets the money. Remember, that's our slogan here at Cyber Trading. But uh, there are a couple of things that are moving. Um, I mean, you see right here, the NEWA yesterday got destroyed destroyed look at that stock and we're only looking at what happened here at 330 but if I change the time frame here and I uh, bring it to a five day five minute chart the stock was twenty nine dollars got crushed um, and then we saw it we were talking about it um, in class yesterday and then it started to try to make a little bit of a comeback and remember what I told you in class yesterday uh, how do we know how to trade what for going into the following day? Well, we took our notes. We looked at this NEWA, and we'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, but before we do that, let's get right back into what is uh, moving and what happened. Obviously, this stock obviously is going to be one on our watch list. But uh, a couple of stuff. And by the way, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal short. The only problem with the NEWA, you know, you know, when we teach you in class, you know, there are different levels of – and we spent actually a lot of time talking about that in uh, in my phase three. But we were talking a lot about what level it was at. And, you know, listen, this stock was in the high threes, four category of what type of trader you are. So um, it was very volatile. Listen, you can make a lot of money, but you can lose a lot of money. So, you know, at the end of the day, you got to know what level you were at. But anyway, a couple of the stocks did make some nice moves. Let's just check them out really quick. And let me just fix the time trend flame over here. Uh, so if you were not here yesterday... And you want to know what you missed or what moved. Uh, a couple of them, uh, the CGC was a really nice move. You could see how that great pre-market trading, um, you know, and then it had a nice little short. Everyone did pretty well on it. Not the most, uh, doesn't look as pretty as we like it to look right there, but it did pretty well. Another stock right here had a nice little pop in pre-market. The CRON, uh, this I think was probably our best uh, yesterday we talked about, but that you could see. Uh, one thing that was great about this one, I was talking about the iceberg orders. If you watch yesterday's uh, video I post on YouTube, uh, what was nice about this one was I, I talked a little bit about that iceberg order, which is right here on the right on the matrix. And uh, stock took a nice little pop right there. Easy 20, 30 cents winner right there. That was like taking candy from a little kid. GEVO, another one that worked out really well. I still like this GEVO. I'm gonna put it on the watch list, by the way, and uh, and the, and for for a few reasons. First of all, I had a nice little push going into the close. It's not an expensive stock. It's got some good iceberg orders out there. The only problem right now is volume is a little low in pre-market. A lot of you remember this stock. We did trade it back in June. You remember this one from $3 all the way to 30 uh, I talked yesterday also about in class about if you want to be a good swing trader, you want to be a good options trader, you damn well know how to day trade first, and then you'll know how to get into it. But this was such a beautiful short squeeze, and uh, we did really well on it. But I want to keep an eye on it. You know, Let it build up its momentum, see how it goes, if it breaks its resistance level. So anyway, so that's what we missed yesterday. Now, guys, that's the archives. That's the past. Now let's focus on uh, what we'll get, what's going on this morning. So anyway, big news. Stock's up 16%. Wonder why? Well, what's the news? Why is up 16%? Because the stock got destroyed yesterday. Destroyed. Uh, the stock right here, the NEWA. It doesn't have the greatest iceberg orders right now, which is shockingly being the stock already trades 600,000 shares in pre-market. But uh, let me just fix my time frame over here. The other thing that kind of gets me a little nervous about it, if you look at, what do you, do you notice what's going on right here, guys? Everyone see what's, what we're looking at on the pre-market? What do we got going on? A lot of low lows, right? It is testing. It's getting close to yesterday's support levels. So keep an eye on that. And uh, if it, and remember, great traders never buy at the bottom, sell top. You always buy in between. It's all about not, you know, getting a short from 28 down to 10. You know, it's about buying it at 12 and selling at 13 on a thousand shares. Make it thousand bucks, quarter million. That's what we're looking for. Great traders never buy at the bottom and top. All right. So uh, that one is also going to make the watch list. A couple other ones. Ex. 
AAS, a lot of you remember this one too. Uh, we traded this stock also not too long ago. She's making a little bit of a comeback. Stock took a little bit of a hit, but she's gapping up pretty nicely right here. Up 20%, half a million shares. Not the biggest iceberg orders. Again, big spread. You're probably in a category four uh, on that one. This stock is great. This is going way, 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 way back. Okay. Uh, Zenga, Z-A-G-A. -A. I remember trading this stock. This was a fun stock. This was like this stock trades like crazy volume. You could see the iceberg orders. It's just all over the place. Um, uh, it's got a couple of shakes here and there. What it'll do in this stock gapped up pretty nicely after hours. You could see it. She started to trend down right now, but she's going to be testing yesterday's highs. You could see it right here. You know, right there we're talking about. So she's got some support levels right around here. So we'll keep a close eye on that one. That one looks pretty decent. I think everybody could trade that one. Momo, another one that we've traded several times. Momo, we traded this stock. Go back to your journals like we trained you how to go out uh, to monitor certain stocks. I always tell you this. You're always going to trade these stocks again and again and again. And they always come up. And it always seems like... The same stocks. Trust me, when you become a cyber trader, you'll notice, first of all, you're not trading, you're not making money. And if you're not losing, you're not learning when it comes to trading. But when it comes to something like this, you know, you'll probably be trading two, three, four hundred different stocks, you know, and then you just realize that it's all about momentum. And uh, you, the most important you want to know about the momentum is how the stock worked out. And here's one of them that you should check out if you did trade it. If you didn't trade it, stay away from it because the stock uh, can hurt you. Now, Let's talk about a couple of brand names that are moving. Urban Outfitters. Okay, Urban Outfitters, you know I'm not a fan of the $50 stock, you know, but it is moving. Uh, it's got some good volatility right here. Stock's got a nice little Fausto flag, breaking a 52-week high. Not bad, um, but once again, probably in the three to four category of a type of trader you are. SMC, um, bring this one up over here, the S. MCI. Okay, so this one to me could be a short down 23%, made a little bit of a comeback. You could see in the pre market right there, took a huge hit after hours, took another hit early this morning around 8 30, did come back. So we know we, we know if that happens, this stock can get some good volatility. Uh, right, right off the bat, I just want you to be aware you know, I teach scalping, and this is a five cent spread stock. A lot of us like the five cent spreads. Remember, there's a whole rule about why they all came back. So anyway, just be careful with that. You got to scalp this stock, but it looks like a fun stock. Um, what did I say? And last but not least, the PSTG. That one has a nice little push. After hours, nice little gap up. Probably came out with earnings right there. Uh, up 12%. Not a lot of shares. Kind of like this one a little bit better because it's not up that much. Not the greatest iceberg orders out there. You got 100, 500. Listen, it's summer. It's summer. You know, you can't, you can't throw, you can't assume you're going to have a ton of them out there. But we got some decent ones that are moving. All right. Now, before we go, guys, anything I'm missing that I, uh, that I missed out? Uh, ben says uh, BlackRock owns 125 million um, of SMCI. Well, read between the lines. BlackRock, a major, major uh, power horse down here in Wall Street. Big power horse, and it is very interesting. But anything that I'm missing, I did not call out. Anybody else? All right. So anyway, um, just really quick. Hopefully, a lot of you guys that are here that are uh, that just joined us at Cybertrain University are enjoying it, seeing how fun the training room is, see how everybody works together. Remember, it's not about the education; it's about the trading community, which we which we preach. It's about being a team effort. We work together. So hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it. And then class is going to be starting just in about uh, a little less than a little bit more than 15 minutes away. So I'm going to see everybody. Any gold? platinum diamond students i'll see you in the phase three class if you want to know more about it talk to education advisor i'll let you know in the meantime guys remember old saying see something say something and all you new members all you need to do is look listen and learn please don't trade anything because you, obviously we didn't teach you how to do it just watch see how the students do it and just make sure it's for you because if it's not 
then that's okay. You can always go back to a stockbroker and give it to them um, because you think you're going to learn this the hard way. You'll end up blowing up your account. It's not that – it's it's not hard. Uh, it's quite simple, but it's not easy. And the easy, and, and the hard part is taking the time to learn and be patient. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, we'll see you back at 2.30. And for everyone who's going to be in class, I'll see you in about 15 minutes.